What's up YouTube? Want to do a little video on my trailer inspired by Ron Paul. Everything you see in this trailer pretty much is inspired by Ron Paul and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Okay, let's start in the back and then I'll get inside because it's kind of windy. Let's start on the right. Over here I got my Polk workbenches modified. I'll try to do a separate video on that. Underneath I have my long storage. I plan on building a long drawer in there. Meanwhile, I have my sewing machine stored there. Over here I have storage for my long tools. My five foot track saw, some levels, uh, drywall square, six foot drill bit for electrical work, and my 78 inch level for hanging doors. On the left side, I have a cubby, four feet high by eight feet deep for sheet goods. Let's get inside and I'll show you the inside. Here we are on the inside and I want to start with these lights. They are five meter LED strips, two of them. Got them on eBay, less than ten dollars each. They're running off just what they're where the original LED lights were. This trailer is not plugged in, not attached to the tow vehicle. It's running off this battery over here, which charges up when the trailer is plugged in. The trailer gets plugged in from this 100 foot extension reel, which goes out that little hole over there. This end right here plugs in, goes into that outlet. That's where the battery charge is plugged in. Then I got some wiring going across here. Comes to this box, which goes to this power strip. Right now I have this battery charger permanently mounted here. So I can charge batteries whenever I'm on a job site and plug in any other tools I might want to use in or near the trailer. Okay, let's start on the left over here. I got all my drawers for my hand tools. These drawers are more or less a copy of what Ron Polk did in his trailer, except I did quarter inch bottoms with um, uh, underlayment for flooring. Worked out fine for me. I don't need the uh, half inch bottoms. Have half inch sides, the same cutout holes, and each drawer is its own category of tools. Here I have tape measures and squares and um, small little levels, stud finder, pencils, and every drawer has its own uh, category. On top of the drawers I have a few containers of screws and nails. I don't have a permanent place for these yet. I have Craig jig over here and all my batteries stored right under the battery charger. As well as a little cup just uh, glued right in place with all extra pencils, pens, and markers. On top of that, I got all my power tools. This is a dividable cubby, um, adjustable cubbies, I'm sorry. And you could space it out according to each tool's width. One thing I would recommend is I copied the size off Ron Polk's uh, model trailer that he has on SketchUp. I would recommend making it a little bit taller to f better fit some tools in. And also it doesn't need to be as deep as he has it. As you see over here I have my reciprocal saw sticking out. But that's not such a problem. It still stays right in place with this little lip. On top of that, I just have some bags for taking tools in and out of the job site. Over here, I got this tall cabinet. On top, I plan on building a heated, um, a heated cabinet for all my different glues and liquids, which tend to freeze in the cold winters. On bottom of that, I have these pull-out shelves, which I still have not had a chance to route out the handles for these pull out so you can access what's in the back. I have a hard time doing this with one hand. As you can see, store things back there and access them easily because the drawers pull out. This all stays in place while I'm driving. The little screw sticking out of the bottom which goes right 
Let's see if I can. Oh, I got a spacer over there. So as you can see over there, I drilled the little flat bottom hole before I did the dados, and that's where the screw sits in. As you can see right there. Continuing along here, I got a brush and a dustpan. Over here I got a broom and an extension pole and my table saw. Over here chained to the wall is my ladders. Keeps them in place during transportation. Over here I got my nine foot track, which you access by opening the back door. It's on top of that cubby for the sheet goods. In the center I have my vacuum, my air compressor. On top of that screwed in is just a container with some odds and ends, some rags. I got this tape over here, some cables, some odds and ends that don't really have a place yet. As we come over to this side, nothing really doing. I have my miter saw here. It's not attached in any way yet. This is what I use on my Polk workbench. Um, I plan on getting a new miter saw, so I didn't really make a, a cubby for this yet because it's going to be a little bit bigger than what I have right now. And on the outside of the storage for all my long tools is where I keep all my cords stored, my air hoses, all on these little hooks. Keep my air hoses tied with these twist ties. I think I covered just about everything. If you have any recommendations how I could better use this space, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the trailer. Again, everything in this trailer is inspired by Ron Polk. The way I work today is inspired by Ron Polk. Efficiency, um, cleanliness, and again, I'll leave a link to his channel below. Take care.